Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Friends to Prince with SoundCloud, SoundClick, uh, and all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching my channel. And I want I want to I want to I want to talk about segregation today because recently on World Star Hip Hop, uh, I think the University of uh, I think it's Berkeley or or it's a one some universities in California and some in Kentucky have segregated their housing for African American um, students and there have been some people who have taken to Twitter and saying that this is an outrage or this is segregation this is welcome back to the 50s this is disgusting so on and so forth but they're saying all this because they do not understand the parameters that are set up for the students. For one, the students got to, you know, there's, they're like $20,000 for, for students. Uh, and they're asking for, you know, all kind of other monies to, uh, for these dorms. And it's, you know, it, it's kind of, it's like, okay, you want to do this, but this is what it's going to cost. And... Another thing that they are doing is they're allowing white, black, whatever student, other students to apply to also stay in a dorm if they want to learn about African American cultures. So they're not saying that no white people are allowed. They're not saying that you know, there are no other races allowed. They're saying that simply apply and if you're approved, you can stay there. That's different from segregation, people. Segregation was simply there were whites who could only use certain bathrooms. That was it. You were not allowed. You couldn't apply. There was no freedom of choice. See, when there's segregation, the freedom of choice is annulled. There is no freedom of choice. It's segregation. It's separate. And that's it until the law changes. Listen, there are laws in this country that still are, are still put in place that have not been taken away that separate us by color. And uh, if you go to some parts of America, you know, you'll, you'll see that there are some white people who've never seen black people. And I've been to a few. You know, when they saw me, they were like, I mean, their eyes were like, this day I'm going big. They were like, oh my God, it's a black person. You know, I walked into a bank and they thought I was going to rob it. And the one lady said, we're not used to seeing your type of people here. This is what one of the people said there. And I came in there with money. They thought I was going to rob them. So uh, so segregation is, is a whole different thing than what they're doing. I think it's cool that if the students have been making complaints about uh, being uh, treated unfairly and living with whites in, in dorms and the whites have been treating them unfairly, why not give them their own uh, place uh, to... Um, pretty much live while they're going to school they're, they're still paying you their money is green you still want their money I don't have a problem with that I don't have a problem with any university setting up any type of diverse living establishments in order for people to get along I don't have an issue with that you know I have an issue with if they say whites just can't stay here I have an issue with that I'd be like that's not cool at all because there are some white people who don't have a racist bone in their body they could care less about racism they're not interested they want as a matter of fact they gravitate towards black people because of our culture they love our culture they love the african-american culture they love the african culture they love the african jewish culture uh the african jew culture not jewish but nonetheless they love learning about us because let's just face it when it comes to music when it comes to the way we dress when it comes to our swagger we they're, they're, it's just hard to beat us we, listen, we have the ability as African-American people to overcome adversity almost at any cost. I mean, and if you're looking at the 400 years we've been here, we've been put through the meat grinders, sometimes literally. Look, they used to feed our babies to alligators. I mean, come on, who does this? And this was like 30 years ago. Heck, some of them are probably still doing it in some parts of the country. So, like, let's let's get real. Black people are still trying to overcome 
uh, a lot of things that is happening to them. And for the white people who have helped us and are still helping us, big ups to you. I am all about that. And truthfully, if it was the other way around and there was some white people who wanted to be separate so they can get along, I'd be like, get them their own dorm. I don't have a problem with that. But don't say that no black person can be there because that is segregation. What's happening at these university is uh, is is the clash of diversity. There's always going to be that. We are at war. The civil war, this civil war with black and white people has been the longest standing war ever. Trust me. And we are still at war. We're still killing each other. We still look at each other crazy. We still don't want uh, uh, black people in some town. Some black people don't want white people to walk through the town. Look at what's happening in Ferguson. They're just chasing white people down and just beating them up like they did in the Rodney King riots. You know, the truck driver who got dragged out of his car, out of his truck, and they beat that man. He had nothing to do with the riots. He had nothing to do with what happened to Rodney King. But see, it's it's it, the blood. There's there's blood in the water. There's so there's there's bodies in the street. Like this is an everyday occurrence. It's a fight, people. It's a fight to erase ignorance. And we, and if you want to talk about going back to the fifty, go down there and talk to the Ferguson police, because they're they're shooting people down and they're watching other people just get mowed down and get ran over. And this just happened a couple of weeks ago. This isn't even including Michael Brown. I mean, you want to talk about taking it back to the 50, go talk to the police, the gang of police all around our nation who are just killing people left and right and don't care and getting paid for it. Administrative leave is basically paying people for murder. So I don't want to hear about, you know, these, you know, the few amenities that these African-American uh, young scholars and uh, bright individuals have when they can walk outside and get shot down and the police can pretty much go on vacation with his wife and kids. I don't want to I don't want to hear no tweets about uh, how it's disgusting and it's ridiculous when you're not the one getting shot in the face and watching your your children getting shot and you know in 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 and watching your father get shot in the street and your whole family just get murdered right in front of you when that's happening to you then you know then you have you you have something to complain about to us when black police are gunning down white people in the street just to do it and go on administrative leave then i want to hear your lip about it other than that shut your mouth because you don't know what you're talking about you're not running out here scared every day like we are. You're not afraid to get in your car and drive. You know what I'm saying? You're not living in a black neighborhood where it's just full of projects, raps, roaches, and people don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not separated like we are. You're just not. Your culture isn't damaged. The police, uh, uh, listen, in Chicago, they used to just put guns in the street. There would just be a whole crate of guns that would just show up in the street. Just a whole crate of it. Listen, the president is even against us. And I'm not necessarily talking about the one now. But who was that? Uh, uh, Ronald Reagan and his goofy wife talking about uh, the, the freaking drugs. And they were the biggest drug dealers. Guess where those drugs were going? They were going right into our neighborhood. And it wasn't a big deal until they started uh, going to the white neighborhoods. They put crack in our and they shot up with these kids having something you know what i'm saying when they're dumping crack and guns into your neighborhood when they're literally dropping bombs on you because you want to separate yourself from the hellish behavior of racism just shut your mouth because you're not going through it every day you, 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 your brothers and your cousins and your black the, the the white males in your family are not going through it like the black males are going through even our women are getting gunned down our children our little girls are getting shot little boy just got shot by the police no i'm not trying to hear none of your stupid tweets because you're not living under the gun like we are you can go out and do what you want and we cannot do that Hell, I went to the movie theater and I got followed around by a cop at the movie theater. 
Okay, what am I going to do? Steal a damn whole movie? You know what I'm saying? You're not living like that. Shut your mouth. Let them people have what they want. Mouth.